This is the Royal Air Force based at Alray Leaming. The Royal Air Force was formed in 1918 during World War One and has since become a hugely important component of the British Armed Forces. This programme will give you an exclusive look behind the scenes of the RAF and the people who make it what it is. Sergeant Maxine Taylor has a very important job here at RAF Leaming. She is there to keep track of the aircraft that are taking off landing and those already in the air. At air traffic at Leaming, we control both civil and military aircraft below 19,000 feet. We control the aircraft that are departing the station, arriving, and the aircraft that are transiting that may affect the aircraft departing and arriving. Um, and between um, Durham Tees and Linton, so that's our kind of airspace generally. Physical training is very important to the staff here at Aria for Leaming. We talked to Danny Graham from PTI who explained everything. Basically, we uh, look after all the health and well-being of uh, station personnel, uh, fitness testing of uh, RF personnel, um, uh, and basically make sure everyone's nice and keeps nice and fit for, for deployment. Cooking healthy food is not always an easy job for the kitchen staff here at RF Leaming. Head chef Simon Bacon told us what's on the menu. Healthy eating choices on the evening time. Um, we cater for a vegetarian choice in the evening time as well. Uh, the lunchtime a la carte menu, which is cooking food to order, um, has a, a balanced and uh, a variety of different um, foods on there, so, uh, but, uh, which is indicated actually on the menu as a healthy eating choice, things like that. So uh, they get all the information they need to know, and if they've got any questions, they can always ask. The aircraft that are no longer in the air are taken to a place called Reduce to Produce or RTP. Here, retired RAF Tornado parts are recycled and used as spares for other operational aircrafts. A real money saver. Um, the actual process of RTP itself, um, we deactivate the aircraft uh, over the course of approximately 20 working days, so about four working weeks. Um, and at the end of it, we, uh, we have approximately £600,000 worth of components. So every single aircraft we, we deactivate, we're saving the Air Force um, over half a million pounds. The whole programme is for um, around about uh, 100 aircraft, and the RTP programme is due to go out to 2015. Uh, and the idea is that we will save the Air Force at least £66 million. Pounds. Uh, so it, it is a massive uh, cost saving initiative but it's also providing reliable parts um, for the tornado community to keep the GR4 and the F3 uh, in the air. Carrying out running repairs is an essential part of the military force and the RAF is no exception. The only personnel trained to do this job are the DCRE from the Army. Major Brian Dalton gives us the lowdown. The DCRE is responsible for the maintenance of the estate so we look after making sure that the uh, services and utilities continue to work and are provided and we also provide uh, some input into new works building new facilities on the site. Hundred Squadron is where all the pilots and co-pilots learn how to fly and navigate. What kind of stuff do you actually do once you have taken to the skies? Um, Hundred Squadron based at uh, Leeming, the main role is uh, operational support flying, so flying support of other squadrons based around the country, sort of in really simple terms, acting as, uh, acting as bad guys for the, uh, for the good guys to practice against. And also there's a unit called the NTU, Navigator Training Unit, which uh, I'm part of, which trains um, all future fast jet navigators to then go on to either the Tornado F3 or the GR4. Whilst filming, we bumped into 92-year-old Douglas Hudson, an RAF survivor from World War II, who told us what he thought about the RAF today. I think it's doing a good job. It is carrying on where we left off many years ago. It's helping to protect it's the country.
for the Aria is an amazing career. Join and you won't regret it.